Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. And I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're really close, Brad. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Really close to the camera for a reason. Today we're going to show you some finger exercises you can do after you've broken your wrist. And some of them you can do with the cast on. Sure. And some of them you may not be able to do until the cast is off, especially if the cast goes up around the thumb. Right. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into these um, and make sure you, it's approved by your doctor or your therapist. But uh, after the cast is off, you can start these on day one. Sure. All right, let's go ahead and start. Uh, first one, we're going to go ahead and what's called kind of a claw exercise. You're moving the top two knuckles here. One, two, and, three, and you notice he's keeping four, no bend five, in, in these knuckles. Six, so it's not this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Brad. Okay, with this one, we kind of make a flat table. Now we are moving the big one, right? right? And we're bringing it down like this. One, two, there you go. three, four, five, six. It looks like a seven, puppet show, Bob. Eight, nine, <laughs> hi, Brad, <laughs> ten. Okay, next one, we're going to actually do the full curl, Brad. Oh, we curl make, it all the way. One, make the fist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any comments? Eight. You're talking. I nine, can't talk when you're talking. Ten. Okay. <laughs> next one, we're going to do, these are just, the next ones are for the thumb. All right. We're going to go out to the side. One, two, You just do ten three, and I'll talk. Okay. Four. Okay. So these exercises, I bet you your hand is getting a little tired already, isn't it? Yeah. They're a lot harder than okay. they, they look. Okay. Next one, the thumb goes out this way, away from the hand. These little muscles in here are really going to town right now. And if you've been in a cast for six weeks, you probably yeah. won't even be able to do this. And what's helping is it's helping the, the tendons glide mm -hmm. is what it's doing. Now, last one, the thumb to each finger. That's one. Two. This could get you ready for three. hitchhiking, huh? Yeah. Four. <laughs> and we'll just do five on these. Now, we're going to have you follow the one hour rule, basically, and that is after you do these, if an hour later they're still sore from doing them, you maybe did too many. Mm -hmm. So back off a little bit. If they aren't sore, you can maybe do maybe a few more then. Sure. I mean, let's say you start off with five, don't do the full ten, and it's not sore an hour later, go ahead and, and bump it up to maybe the full ten sure. next time. So, so if, if their people are still listening, or if they got bored and they're tuned out, yeah. the people are still interested. The, the tendon glide Bob was talking about, that's yeah. why you're doing just fingers, is all the tendons that make your fingers function go through your wrist, right where the right. fracture was, and you need to get those tendons to free up. So exactly. Motion. So even though the wrist was broke, you're moving the fingers, and they're, it's affecting the wrist area. Mm -hmm. So the next video we're going to do is the exercises for the wrist. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.